Hello, we're the Spawns, pastoral family from the Point Church in Greenwood, Indiana. We welcome you into our home this Christmas season for our daily Advent reading. We hope this blesses you. Tonight's scripture is Daniel chapter 6, verse 10 through 23, and we're taking these readings from the Jesse Tree by Kent and Kathleen Pelton. Now then, Daniel learned that the decree had been published, and he went home to his upstairs room where the windows opened towards Jerusalem. Three times a day he got down on his knees and prayed, giving thanks to his God, just as he had done before. Then these men went as a group and found Daniel praying and asking God for help. So they went to the king and spoke to him about his royal decree. Did you not publish a decree that during the next 30 days anyone who prays to any god or human being except you, your majesty, would be thrown into the lion's den? The king answered, the decree stands in accordance with the law of the Medes and Persians, which cannot be repealed. Then they said to the king, Daniel, who is one of the exiles from Judah, pays no attention to you, your majesty, or to the decree you put in writing. He still prays three times a day. When the king heard this, he was greatly distressed. He was determined to rescue Daniel and made every effort until sundown to save him. Then the men went as a group to King Darius and said to him, Remember, your majesty, that according to the law of the Medes and Persians, no decree or edict that the king issues can be changed. So the king gave the order, and they brought Daniel and threw him into the lion's den. The king said to Daniel, May your God, whom you serve, continually rescue you. A stone was brought and placed over the mouth of the den, and the king sealed it with his own signet ring and with the rings of his nobles, so that Daniel's situation might not be changed. Then the king returned to his palace and spent the night without eating and without any entertainment being brought to him, and he could not sleep. At the first light of dawn, the king got up and hurried to the lion's den. When he came near the den, he called to Daniel in an anguished voice, Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God, whom you serve continually, been able to rescue you from the lions? Daniel answered, May the king live forever. My God sent his angel, and he shut the mouths of the lions. They have not hurt me, because I was found innocent in his sight, nor have I ever done any wrong before you, your majesty. The king was overjoyed and gave orders to lift Daniel out of the den, and when Daniel was lifted from the den, no wound was found on him because he had trusted in his God. How many of you have actually had the opportunity to put your head in the mouth of a lion? Probably none of us. <laughs> Would it terrify you if you were within a few feet of a pride of lions with no protection available? It would me for sure. <laughs> Everyone is familiar with the story of Daniel spending the night in a den of lions and living to talk about it. Daniel was a real prayer warrior. He had God's help before he even set foot into that den of lions. Daniel is included in Jesus' spiritual family tree because he believed in the power of prayer. Serious times in the days of Daniel drove him constantly to his knees to seek God and answers to situations that he, he knew only God could provide. He was a man that would do nothing unless he first had spent time in prayer seeking wisdom from his God. We live in trying times with the demands of the world coming down on us daily. In order to survive in today's world, in our own families, and even in a lion's den, we must become a person of prayer. We know that God is faithful and will always hear our prayers because prayer is his heart language. Heart language is the first language we learn to speak and the way we reveal ourselves to others. Praying is simply talking to God in that language to open up our hearts and our mind and commune with him about our life. We praise him because he listens. He loves to hear the prayers and the praises that we offer to him. Daniel intervened for his fellow Jews that were in exile. 
He took their burdens to God and stayed in the presence of God, delivering up confessions and praises on behalf of his people. Daniel's prayer life was much like that of Jesus. The New Testament is full of prayers offered to God from his son Jesus. His great prayer in John 17 reveals his love and desires for us as we continue his work on earth. Think about how you and your family could become a great prayer warrior, great prayer warriors like Daniel. Commit together as a family to pray for any special needs or situation that is confronting you today. So our family spent the last couple days delivering Merry Christmas packages to all of our church family and that's always a blessing for us to do, especially since this year we didn't get to have our Christmas open house. and. So it, it was important for us to make that personal connection. And as we ran a couple of those errands, um, some of the families had some prayer requests when we stopped. And I wanted to share with you something that God taught me years ago. Um, we are really bad sometimes about someone asking us to pray for them. And we as people will say, sure, sure, I'll pray for you. And then what happens? You're probably answering right now. We forget. We get busy when our day, doing our daily things and traveling, and we don't mean to forget, but sometimes we do, and prayer is crucial. People are depending on us um, to intervene for them, to intercede to the Father for them. And I just, I don't even know what year it was. It's been many, many years ago. I felt the Holy Spirit impress on me one time. He said, why do you wait? Why do we say, I'll pray for you? later he challenged me do it now take advantage of it now this person is requesting prayer their heart cry is is one of desperation sometimes they need hope they need to feel that love and just the act of praying with them then and there is a way to be Jesus's hands and feet and um, so it's it's always been a real blessing to do that today in particular for these two families so that is our challenge to you. Don't wait. And it can be a real testimony and an open door for people to start talking to you about what God is doing in their lives or what they hope God will do in their lives. Let's pray. Father, make us aware of the needs of others close to us and help us commit to pray to, for them daily. May we listen with our hearts and minds as you reveal to us how to become more like Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you for joining us.